wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. <clears throat> Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't... She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil! <gasps> I thought it looked like Basil, but I wasn't sure. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Wait, so Basil's the one on the left, right? <laughs> oh, it's just Kel. Oh, that's Bur... That's Burly, isn't it? Is that Burly? Maybe? Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Oh god, the whole squad's here on their scooters. Or whatever. Aubrey! That's Aubrey. Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sunny. <coughs> Sunny's here? Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmm. Whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Hey, stop that! <coughs> Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Sunny! Come on, we've... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Water. We've got to do something! <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me. How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on both of you. Oh, my. Encourage. Kel encourages Sunny and raises <coughs> Sunny's attack. Let's try that. Aubrey spit on your shoe. Ah! What the? Is, is that a knife? You wanted to fight! Were we not supposed to bring a knife to a bat fight? Oh, shoot! Aubrey, are you okay? You're... you're hurt. I, I'm fine. No, you're not! You're bleeding! Come on, we gotta get out of here! Uh... Ah, I'll get you back for this!
We out here stabbing people with knives. That's not right. This is the real world. Like the guy is a pompadour. <laughs> Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there or we'd have... W wait a sec. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. <laughs> You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. <sighs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, Basil, how are you doing? <coughs> uh... I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny is here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh, hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I... I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, all right then. Thank you. Oh, okay, where does he live? <gasps> I know where he lives. The place with all the flowers! Diagonal from ours. Yeah, 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 okay. I don't remember which one, but there was a place with a bunch of um, plants, right? This one! There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Yep. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait! Please don't go! Uh, I mean... Uh... <coughs> I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... She won't give it back. What a scumbag! Ah, oh, don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. Oh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Basil. Come on, Sunny. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Farway Park for clues. Okay. Okay, let's do it. I stabbed... I stabbed a person in real life. I don't think I was supposed to do that. This guy is still here. These guys are still here. Recycling. Speaking of trash, we can turn it into this lady. Nine dollars. 
Mincy is diligently ske sketching away. Life's been kind of stressful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's fight. Fight pet rocks. What is this? Let's do paper. Ah. Scissors. Aha. Scissors. Okay. Scissors. Hmm. They use paper twice and scissors twice. Scissors! Gotcha! Gotcha! Rose Lad, are you okay? There, there. You take a good rest now. Uh -huh, that was fun. Thanks for challenging me. Guess I need to train Rose Lad a little bit more. Here's the apple guy. Drink apple juice. I should not have talked to him again. Is that orange juice you have there? Oh, um, no, I would never drink something like that. That is garbage! Don't drink that stuff! <laughs> Apple guy threw away your orange juice. <laughs> ha, that'll show him. So, would you like to buy some apple juice for $2? Nah, I'm good. Okay, as long as you're not buying any orange juice. Maybe I should buy it. And then go talk to the orange juice guy again. Okay. What is going on with this tree, huh? Why is it moving? I'm suspicious of that. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Yeah, she probably went to the ER. You stabbed her. Oh, wait. I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <laughs> Who the hell is that? Oh, it's the Pompadour guy. Who, what, and where? Now, what'd you do that for? Is that a guy? <laughs> Or is that a girl? I can't even tell. Ah, if it isn't Kellen, that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries of the great and mighty Angel. Finally, it's time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. B battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. I will stab him, though. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. Oh, Charlie is big. Okay, so it is a pompadour guy. Do I have a, a, a knife anymore? He's... Kel took it. Let's encourage. Encourage Sunny. Eh, you surprise me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. You, you'll pay for this. 
Charlie just stood there. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully! <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. Probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else... I told you I tell you what you know what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What you can't do that! That's cheating! Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He is the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid? Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name! He would take great offense to that! I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mikhail? I mean, uh, the, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you. Okay, fine. I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the Farway Plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to Farway Plaza. I think we're done here. Okay. <laughs> Let's save our game. Um, What time is it? 7.52. <sighs> I want to keep playing. This is like really interesting. I want to know what's going to happen and stuff, but we have eight minutes left. Should should we stop here or could we do one more little scene and then save? I don't know. Hmm. 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 A little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more. I mean, this thing is right here. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's THE Maverick. Oh, the Maverick. You're so funny. Oh, wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. <laughs> Mikhail, what are you doing? Oh. If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail. Don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! <sighs> Are we really going to do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. Oh, Kel. You pitiful fool! You don't stand a chance against the Maverick! Ooh, 23 damage! You didn't like that, did you? Oh, he's got a lot of HP.
Kel's attack fell. Lame. Hmm, not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Well, eventually we'll get there. Kel is angry. His attack whiffed. Huh, as expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Well, at least we hit him this time. Ha! Is that all you've got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold! My final form! Uh... You look the same. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. It's only a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. I'm going to... Uh... I don't know what any of this stuff does. Let's eat candy. Okay, it healed him a little bit. The candy had a chewy texture and fruity flavor. Hmm, must be some of that taffy. Oh, that hurt. <coughs> that hurt. Not good. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Can I use a, a bandage? Here we go. <gasps> no, this is impossible, improbable. Absolutely inconceivable! <laughs> That'll never get old. <sighs> no! I won't let it end like this! No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength. You're not Goku. <laughs> Is he going Super Saiyan? Hiya! Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. Oh, he paid these girls to come hang out with him? Wow. L ladies, please come back. I have more money. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? <laughs> He's wearing a wig? What is going on with this guy? <laughs> Mikhail. There is no one here by that name! Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Ma Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so... I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy.
<laughs> wow. That boy with the blonde wig is so cool. I wish I had his confidence. Okay, well. That puts us right at 8 o'clock. So I guess that's the perfect stopping point. And... Wow, this has just gotten so interesting. I loved going um, to all the different shops and doing the jobs and visiting everyone's house and raiding their beds. <laughs> Alright, let's go. To the candy land. Hmm. All right, voice. Cooperate with me today. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey any... Shoot, it's a nerd, Kel! Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of my way, nerd! You don't know me! Hey, hey! <clears throat> Hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you! Ugh. I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be and I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again! I thought I told you to never come back in here, smiley smiley. Uh oh. Over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. <laughs> Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Serves you right. Wait. How will we find out where Aubrey is now? Ah, <sighs> come on, Sonny. Let's follow them. Hi, hi! It's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today, Smiley Smiley? I have ninety-eight dollars. Mm. I don't want anything. Do I? Smiley, smiley. Hold up one sec, Sunny. I think I have an idea. Sorry for the holdup. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Are you not going to... to let me in on the knowledge of this little idea you have? Oh, stupid candy, stupid candy, stupid smiley smiley. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <sighs> Let's just go home. We're going to be late for dinner. Wait, 
Kim. I have something for you. You again, Cal? What the heck do you want, you bully? Oh, you're one to talk. Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can buy us off. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance! We have to stay strong. When we get to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim. Vance. I'm waiting. Huh. Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh man. Really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim. You're the only lead... <coughs> You're the only lead we've got. Please, take the big bag of candy. We... We even... Have Taffy in here. Did someone... Say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists! If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you'll give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us again! Oh, wait a sec. There's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But... I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. <sighs> what is it with you guys and fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sunny. You know the drill. Give me my, uh, my knife back. I'll make quick work out of them. Hey, Young. What's up, William? Hi, I'm the Hunter. Hope you guys are having a good one. All right, these two. Look, he's got candy in his pocket. And his, his hair is in the shape of devil horns for some reason. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't heal up. Oh, shoot. Have some pie. Kel, have some pie. Pie's buttery crust perfectly complemented the fruity feel filling. Uh. Oh, man. Alright, we gotta do this solo. Ah! Ah! What the hell? Huh, you guys never stood a chance. So, uh, can we get that taffy now? What? Hmm. Maybe that'll teach you to mind your own business. We got smoked! Come on, Kim. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot! Let's get out of here. Wait! Don't go! Please, Kim. I know you know where Aubrey is. She... She took something really important from Basil. I get that you guys are friends and stuff, but even you got to admit that Aubrey goes too far sometimes. Please, we're just trying to help a friend. Come on. Aubrey's at the church. What the hell? The one near her house. 
Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikhail or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds! Aubrey does sound like she needs a little Jesus or something in her life. Aw, oh, nuts! They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church. But I'll believe it when I see it. We d okay, well, shit. Uh, can I... Uh, how do I heal? <laughs> Guess I just have to buy stuff? Oh, here. Is that apple juice you have here? That's garbage. Don't drink that stuff. Throw away the apple juice. That'll show him. <sighs> I'm done with you people. I'm done with all of you guys. Hey, Shamurai. Still cooking? Dinner, but lurking? Oh, so you're lurking? <gasps> Hope you're cooking something delicious and you're making enough for everybody. Will, thank you for the thousand bits. How very nice of you. I appreciate it. Hi, Gamer Tragic. What's up? Five stream streak. Woo woo. Thank you. Oh, and hi, Uriah. <coughs> um... Uh, uh. How do I get a heal around here? Is there any place I can... <sighs> I miss... I miss being able to heal at the picnic. <coughs> I guess I gotta eat some food. I just, I don't have that much, so. Oh, wait, I could go to the pharmacy. He said he'd hook me up, right? Hi, Brando! Thank you for the 74 months! Hope you're enjoying Yakuza 3. You did end up doing the Majima um, story thing, right? On Kiwami 2? Five dollars. All right, I need a couple of these. All my money. There we go. All right. All the way to the end. Yes. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Oh. Aubrey's old blue bike. What's this? Far away cemetery. Cemetery. Where? Do you want to go into the church? Uh, do I? Hold on, let's wait here until the sermon's over. Let's 
Go in. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Shouldn't disturb the others. There she is on the right. Let's walk up to the pew behind her. Maybe they want me to... Aubrey! Psst! Aubrey! What the... What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Cal, exactly. We used to be friends. Aw, Cal looks so sad. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. <gasps> Does that mean she never came to the door on that on, during the pro prologue? Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mari... passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? The photo album <coughs> belongs to Basil and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny just think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different, act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief! What's happening, Basil? 
Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well? Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless, defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick. Or I'll come at you first. Or should we take this outside? <coughs> Maybe? Look at her clothing. It is completely inappropriate for church. Well, that's her business. I don't think throwing basketballs at people's faces is appropriate either. Why are you here? I can't... I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Okay, this is not good. Okay, whew. Made it in time. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. I need... Calm down, he can only use it on himself, huh? Yeah. needs to stop them. Where are their parents? We almost got her. Ah, oh, Forget it. You two aren't worth my time. Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable, disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. That did not go well. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> Where are your manners off brawling about like that? You should be ashamed. It's about time that girl ran off. Now maybe all my friends will come back to church again. I just wanted to spend my day off in peace. Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. That girl, Aubrey, has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I've tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me... Uh, bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. A grand piano. Oh. Oh. 
Old beardy. This lot is pretty quiet, isn't it? You can't hear the hustle and bustle of the streets here at all. <laughs> the only things here are wandering spirits. And me, of course. What's with that look? I ain't dead yet! Gwahahaha! <laughs> Okay. Flowers. A headstone. Flowers. A headstone. A headstone. Puzzle pieces. Flowers. Okay. What's this? Baguettes? Bread. It smells toasty. Somebody liked bread. Hey, this one doesn't say anything. This one says nothing. The symbol of faraway town is supposed to represent a gateway to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. This one has light. Our dearest Mari. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari. It feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. <coughs> you know, when Mari passed away, Hero... Hero really stopped caring about any everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better, how everyone is really worried. How Mari wouldn't want him to see it. How Mari wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought it was helping him, but... But Hero... Hero got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful, too. But I think I blocked out a lot of it. His eyes were already super red. But the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. <coughs> and I was so scared that, well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hero got his senses back because he ran to me and... and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But... at least Hero got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more. <coughs> and joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He isn't actually good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but... I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyways, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but... I still think Hiro blames himself for Mari's death. Hiro's never visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Damn, that was... Okay. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That was, uh... That was a bit of a dump there. Some really tough stuff. Look, this one has a little... Stuffed animal. A teddy bear. Man. 
Okay, well... Things are getting heavier. Little, little, uh, we're getting little clues and bits and pieces of, of every, everything that happened. to now they said mari lived near the church oh god it's this guy <laughs> i'm leaving Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sunny? Do you want to high five Kel? Yeah, let's do it. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Yeah, it might smell like rotten food or something, but uh, it's probably still fine. Yeah, I did watch the guy try to repair the hole in his house and it just sprung right back. There's a kitty on the roof. Knock, knock! Basil! It's your friends, Kel and Sunny. You're not Basil. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil. We've got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Hell yeah. I'm always down for some free dinner. Please, make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah. I like them a lot. <coughs> Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we've got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Oh, gosh. Guys, I can already tell that this is going to get really tough, isn't it? Do, do you guys feel it too? Like, this is already set up to be so sad. Ah, uh, that's... Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. 
Um, sure. Okay. Here it is. Ooh. Okay, so read is X. Okay, so I missed this when we first looked through his photo album in the prologue. <coughs> so this one's Christmas, my first photo. It's my best friend, Sonny, trying out his new violin. <gasps> best friend, Sonny? He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting. And then we can view the photo. Kel. Oh, 218, my birthday. Just Kel, being Kel. So many party hats. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. <laughs> this is giving you <coughs> Anohana vibes? Yes, it is. Oh man, I am so screwed. <laughs> oh god. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. But... Oh, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Ah, BFFs? It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. Oh, the the pe the. All the little, uh, friends at the playground. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel ho holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. These look familiar. Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take this take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. Wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. 
Cal cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Cal is known to spill his drinks. But We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I, I've done this before. I wasn't in the sand, but we, we buried one of our... We dug a big hole and one of our friends went in there and then we covered him up. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Sunny's birthday. Yay, Sunny is turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are all in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He is the baby of the group. <coughs> so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo. He's, he's just like a cat. <laughs> Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. <laughs> I guess this box will be Sunny and Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel re ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are getting up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Ah, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Oh no, that's it. No more. No more. Yep, that's it. Are you done looking? Yeah? Man, looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to go get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway... Don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Do I have free reign to go explore and raid the bed? Yes. I do. Bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening, gardening and indoor plant care. Flowers. Oh, we can save here? Oh, what's in here? What's in the fridge? Cabbages, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. I like all those things. Oh, there's somebody in the bed. Who are you? A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. I didn't expect to see you in here. Uh, uh, 
How are you doing, Sunny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time <coughs> I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this, this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. So I didn't see any pictures of Mari, I think. I think those are the ones that Aubrey took. Sunny! Basil! Dinner is ready! Okay, coming! Oh. Basil's grandma's breathing steadily. Man. They were best friends. I don't think Sunny has, like, spoken a word to anybody this whole time. I don't know. Hey, Juanca. Hi, Justinian. How you guys doing? Are we still raiding beds? Oh, we about to be, I hope. What are you eating, Shumrai? What you eating? There's gotta be a bed I can raid in here. A book on plants. <coughs> Basil's camera it looks really dusty. Hmm. Comfortable looking bed. Oh. Oh no, our bed rating days are over? Cheeseburger hamburger helper with peppers from your friend's garden. <gasps> we had cheeseburger hamburger helper a few weeks ago. It was good. Yeah, and how in the world is your backlog to zero? Mine is like zero, but put like a one and a zero in front of that zero. Actually, more like a five and a zero in front of that zero, right? It's probably more realistic. Damn, Kel, save some for the rest of us. Let's save. Nom, 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 nom. What took you so long? Polly and I worked really hard on this. Hurry up and take a seat, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Let's have dinner. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country frequently. Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Hell yeah. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. But thanks for your help, Kel. Nom, nom. So, as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, um, my older brother, Hero, is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. 
This year is the year <coughs> that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil F <coughs> Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I... I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. W what? Oh, no. He didn't know. Sonny is... M moving? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. To a cow slow down. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh. No, I guess I must have missed it. S Sorry. Um. May may I be excused? I I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm gonna go cry and I'm gonna cry. Oh, he's just the cutest little thing, isn't he? What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> I don't think that's Kel. Damn, we're just gonna... When are we gonna knock? Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Oh! It's you! Sunny! You're here! I'm so glad! You... You can see it too, can't you? Something... Behind you... Uh... There. Wait! P please, Sunny! Don't leave me! Not again! What the hell? What? Get back, get your butt back in there, Sonny! What the fuck is wrong with you? He's gonna... He's... He needs... He needs somebody. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah... Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Wait, I, I don't think we should leave. Basil! Oh, Basil! Aw, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Wait, no, we can't leave! Maybe he's in his room now. Nope. Stop! Ugh. I hate this! You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who's taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but 
Ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Let's ask him. Basil! Come out of the... Uh, come out of there? Okay. Well, I really don't think we should just leave like that, but I guess we have no choice. Okay. Oh, it's dark now. Um... Well, I guess we better go home. Uh... Oh, we can save here. Hey, Sunny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sunny. Sweet dreams. <coughs> Why is it all creepy and buggy and demonic in here? Oh. Whispers emanate from inside the box. Do you still recognize your home? spiders. I don't think I like them at all. You know what would make me feel better? Some nice microwaved steak. We got another knife. No. Oh. Some nice microwaved tarantulas. That's what I need. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's, it's just getting worse. Can't get over here. Okay, let's go up the stairs then. Oh god. What the hell happened? Okay, hurry faster. Ah! No, don't stop! Don't stop! Ow!
the hell was that? down although I'm not sure how you could calm down at least we have our knife did it work our attack is doing nothing this is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sunny? It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Focus. Sunny's next attack deals more damage. Oh. I don't get to attack? Mom's bed. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Three out of ten. Bathtub. Make sure you guys are brushing your teeth every day. Yes, we go back to sleep. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Yeah, I <laughs> definitely not enough letters to even begin to try to figure it out. Well, since we 
since we were here, we have learned that the friends group is... They, um... They broke up after Mari died. And, uh, I guess... <coughs> my current, like theory or understanding is that Sunny just I don't know why his name is Omori here why it's different than whatever name you you give him or if you choose the default Sunny um he's just kind of living in the past kind of escaping reality <laughs> 